How to start print on demand on Teespring. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and uh, talk about all the ways you can start print on demand on Teespring. Now Teespring is a simple solution for creating and selling products that engage your fans and help monetize your actual content. So no extra cost, no hassles, no risks. So you can actually discover different types of creators and the products they create. So look at this, Cobra Kai, Hot Ones, all these people use Teespring. So Teespring is really good for your engagement and leads and conversions. So I would definitely recommend all you users watching this video to use Teespring for yourself. So to start things off, you're going to click on start creating with Teespring. And once you do that, it says create with Spring, sell on social. So I'm going to add in my name over here. Once you do that, you're going to add in your email that you work with. So once I add in my email, here comes your password. So just add in the necessary password that you want to go with. Let's say I'm going to add that. You're going to go ahead and choose the I'm not a robot thing. And once you do that, finally click on sign up and you're going to be good to go from there. So welcome to spring. Enter your desired store URL. Think wisely. It's permanent. So do keep a proper store name. So let's say I'm going to call it john's thrift shop okay i'm just going to call it john's thrift shop and click on continue so that's my store's name and uh, once you've created a store name it's going to take you into the actual design launcher where you're going to start creating a design for yourself okay so once you come over here you can the first great thing about your teespring is that you can order samples you know actually order samples to check if teespring is going to tell you uh, it's if teespring is going to sell you proper authentic stuff but don't worry about the authenticity of your product because trust me, the products that you're going to get from Teespring are absolutely out of this world. There is no need to, you know, be doubtful of the products that they're going to send you because they're going to be absolutely amazing. So yeah, once we have gotten the hang of that, what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to go ahead into this variation over here. And once you come here, it's going to tell you to create. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Once you come to create, it's going to take you here and you're first of all going to choose the type of product you want to create. So, you know, you can choose uh, all over print joggers, you have canvases, you have heavy t-shirts, you know, whatever you want to go with. I'm going to go with a t-shirt for now. You know, that would, uh, it's a pretty popular thing and everyone buys t-shirts, so why not? So once you've gone with a t-shirt, what you're going to do from here is you're going to start designing your product. So first of all, you're going to choose the product colors. So let's say I'm going to go with the, a darker color over here. Now, once you go with that, you're going to choose to add a text or an add an image. So I'm going to add an image that I have created through Canva. And you can obviously create designs like these for yourself as well. So I'm going to add this and uh, you're going to go ahead and expand the image uh, dimensions. So once we do all this, wait, let me just uh, adjust it over here. Once you bring it to the corner, you're going to increase its size. And obviously, you're going to make sure that the resolution that you're going to get is uh, pretty decent off. Now, in the case they say higher res resolution artwork is required, ignore that because it's, uh, you know, it shouldn't be an issue because uh, if a resolution is not good enough, you can add this resolution into a resolution enhancer and it's going to fix that for you. But yeah, once you do that, uh, you've added your design and everything. You're going to set your pricing. So I'm going to go with this type of pricing. Once you do all of that, you're going to go into product details. And if your product details are good enough, uh, do make sure that your design is, you know, what they say. You're going to make sure to add a proper design over it. So let's say I'm going to add this actual artwork for myself. And uh, obviously, when you see when you increase the size of the artwork you're going to make sure that the resolution doesn't kill itself so you're going to keep this in the resolution and once you add in your design you're simply going to click on continue so once you do that you know teespring basically starts creating different mock-ups and different product variants of your design that you can sell on the teespring marketplace and you know actually show the people on the teespring marketplace so it's a great way to, as I said, increase engagement. You can start creating merches out of this and uh, you can actually start this as a print on demand business for yourself as well. 
So obviously we're going to wait for this to load in real quick. So if it takes time to load in, just uh, go ahead and reload the page. It shouldn't take this long. And once your page is reloaded, as you can see, it takes you over here. Again, if it takes you through the whole design bit, just uh, add in the de necessary design that you want to go with. Choose the colors. And once you do all of that, wait for your artwork to actually be uploaded because that's the reason it may take a lot of time. So stay on this page, wait for the artwork to be done. And once the artwork is fully done and uploaded, from there, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to, again, just, just wait for this upload, click on continue. And then it's going to take you to the actual launcher portal where it's going to launch the whole product for yourself in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So yeah, that's the general idea of how you're going to launch a uh, start or, or a proper print on demand product spree or a business spree on your Teespring in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So that's the general idea of how all of this works. And uh, let me show you how it's going to work when we go into the actual design launcher. And I'm just going to come here to my design launcher. I'm going to reload the page real quick. And once you get into that, you're going to start finding your products into your samples or your order, order sections. And you can actually connect or create a new store over here as well. So you're going to come to Teespring. You're going to go to the actual store on Teespring. So you can either activate a new store by connecting a domain or you can purchase a new domain on your Teespring. Teespring gives you your own domain, which is pretty incredible. And then moving on. You know, if we click on this link, it takes you to your actual store where you have products stored in, you have products created in. And uh, this is your basic store right now, but you can actually edit your store by clicking on edit store and, uh, you know, adding in the necessary products that you have and all. Now, you can actually add integrations to this as well. Like you can add your TikTok shop, YouTube, Twitch, Linktree, you know, whatever you want to work with, whatever runs your shop, you're going to add it over here. You can actually cross reference things like these with uh, things like Society6 as well, which is basically for same uh, print on demand services for your art. And you can, as I said, cross reference these. And once you cross reference these, basically it gives you a good idea of how your products are not copied or anything. So yeah, that's the general outlook of how you're going to start print on demand on Teespring in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Now, if you enjoyed this video, all the way to the end, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I will be making a whole lot more for you. But yeah, that's the general idea of it all. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I will see all of you wonderful people in the next video. Goodbye.